Hey, what's up, everybody? On today's episode, we received a question. Favia, Acan, which one's easier? So let's give it an answer. On the last video, Lee and Mandy Battersby asked, I have found some beautiful Acans and Favias. Could you please tell me the difference if you know and which is the easiest? So let's start out the answering the question by going through each coral and then giving you my opinion on which is best, one or the other. Uh, first, let's start off with the Favia. It's, the Favia is one of the slowest growing corals. Um, it is considered an LPS coral. It can tolerate a large range of flow and light. Some have noticed that they do well under low flow and light, uh, but they do uh, and have thrived in all different lighting conditions and flow conditions. Favias do need space to grow, unlike the way I have them situated in my tank, um, there it's considered a, a good practice that you give them at least six inches between them and their neighbors because if they are too close, some have been known to put out stinging tentacles and also um, they also have put out mesothelial filaments out of its stomach and basically digesting its neighbor. So it's a pretty vicious coral when it comes to protecting itself and its surroundings. As far as feeding the coral, some people don't feed it and some people do. Uh, I found feeding with this coral is beneficial um, and it can accept an assortment of foods such as reef chili, uh, reef roids, pellets and some forms of frozen food. Uh, I feel feeding them improves their growth and looks, but you have to be careful when you spot feed corals and because you can have a tendency to overfeed them and by overfeeding a coral with these foods, you could it could lead to increasing your phosphate and nitrate levels in your tank. Try to feed them, uh, if you're going to spot feed the coral, try to feed it at night because at nighttime it has a tendency to put out its, its feeding tentacles, which will make it a lot easier to feed the coral. Now, next, let's go on to acans. So acans are an, another LPS coral. All of them like medium flow and medium light. Acans will have a tendency though to change color under certain type of lighting whether it be T5 to LED um, The orange ones that you see on the right actually change color from One form of an LED to another when I purchased them. They were a red uh, and teal coral and uh, shortly after going into my system they turn from the reddish teal and teal to an orange and teal. Others, such as the green on green, purple ones you see next to them, did not change at all from the moment that they got into the tank. So it varies depending on um, which eight cans will do this. You can't determine which one will and which one won't, uh, but it does happen. As far as feeding eight cans, um, they are some of the easiest corals to feed uh, because they accept anything from reef chili, um, reef roids, pellets, or frozen food, even mice, you know, I feed my small mice shrimp. The coral itself does have a considerable benefit when you do feed it because it will have a tendency, you'll see, uh, I've done both, not spot fed the coral and fed the coral and when I'm feeding it I 
see that the uh, at the rate of growth is double as if you uh, had the same coral and didn't feed it. So as far as my opinion and um, the question that was being asked, definitely an ACAN, in my opinion, is a easier coral to take care of uh, due to the fact that it'll accept a wide range of lighting. And also just through watching growth as far as time is concerned, uh, the Acans will grow a lot faster than the Favia will, where Favia is a little slower. So also the variety of both is substantial, but uh, as far as the Acans are concerned, I just think there's that much more variation of size, color, even genus. Um, what you're looking at right now is an Acan Lordoensis, uh, and to the right is a Bowerbanki. So there's quite a different um, variation of coral size and shape that you can get within this group. So my personal opinion, if, if I had a choice between one or the other, it would definitely be the Acans. So, I hope that answers your question. Uh, if you have any questions at all, feel free to put it in the comments below and it'll be on a future episode. I'm gonna try and make this a weekly series. And uh, as always, this is Scott, and I'll see you all soon around the reef tank. So unlike my normal engine screen, uh, this one, I'm just gonna say, if you like today's content, please leave a comment down below. Uh, share the video and if you're not a subscriber hit the subscribe button and you'll have more content like this and much more every week See you soon